I want to go back to to London. I mean, mm-hmm. you won two medals in London in both the long jump and triple jump. Mm-hmm. After you won your first medal, how did you feel? Uh, after I won my first medal, I was like, the job's not done. And so like, you, I feel like you've experienced this. Like you, you, you have two or three events that you're competing in, in, in a, in a meet. And there is a short period of time in between. And so it's like, you don't get a chance to really appreciate the first one because you got to cool down. You got to like prepare yourself for the next one. Yeah. You know, it's so like, I wasn't really, I wasn't really able to like take in that full experience of the first medal because I'm like, okay, like, all right, I, get, I need to, I need to take an ice bath. I need to go get treatment. I need to like replenish my body and I need to get my rest and I need to get ready for this next prelim and this next final. And so that's what my mind com- like switched to immediately you know it was never really like a time to take it in or like celebrate it yet I had to finish the job and so after after I had got the second medal I was like okay like let me like yeah let me take it all in all my family was there like a lot of my family lives in London and so like I was able to really just celebrate it with my family which was the best feeling you know, it was, it was a first experience for like me and all my family, like ain't nobody been to the Olympics before. <laughs> and it, it so happened that like, you know, like my older brother lived, uh, lives in London, my aunts and uncles live in London. So like, we was like at the house, like, just like if we was, <laughs> you oh, know, yeah. yeah, like, just like if you was in San Diego, you know, yeah, like, that comfort. was that? Yeah, we was at the house, like home cooked everything, you know what I'm saying? And it was just cool to, to be in that type of vibe. And um, yeah, it was, oh, it was like, it was just a, a life changing experience, you know, it was something that made me want to do more. It didn't, it didn't make me complacent. It made me like realize like God put me in this place in this position for something that's bigger than me because then I started to see like my influence and I started to see this platform that was being built for me. And I'm like, okay, like, I know like if I do right with this, what God has given me now, he's gonna give me more and he's going to expect me to do even more, you know, with what he's given me. And um, I just wanted to be like a, I guess like a fisher, like we were like fishers of men. So like, yeah. I wanted to, to just continue being that. And um, yeah, that's how I felt. And it just made me work harder. It made me work harder because I knew like that there was so much more to come after that.